Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Purple from Gaming here and today we're playing some more Bloom's Adventure Time Tower Defense. So, first off, I want to give a huge thank you to all of you because it's a little crazy now considering originally my goal for December a while ago now, but was 100 subscribers. We just passed 150, we're at 156 subscribers already, and that's really crazy. So thank you all so much for that. I want to give a huge thanks to anyone who's subscribed or anyone that's just watching too. It's really nice and it's awesome. It's a really big accomplishment. So yeah, thanks. Um, happy Christmas Eve. Hopefully you're doing something fun today or have something fun planned. And I'm, I guess, the very least excited for Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, um, I hope you still get to do something fun or at the very least like admire Christmas lights or decorations outside. It's always nice to do no matter what. Sometimes the best part of holidays is like Christmas, so... Halloween is just to see all the decorations and stuff outside and a little boost to your mood makes you a bit happier. So today we are going to continue the Epic Sword Tournament. Last time we did Night Sword, which turned out very interesting and no thung. So I realized a bit of an issue. What I was gonna use Robo Monkey's visor to give Lepa power. Um Well the thing is, it doesn't actually work. Because he's not a ranged unit. So I'm gonna go on to this. I don't think 40 swords one shot ability works on leads. If it does, then I guess we don't need lead pop power, but I'm gonna assume it doesn't. So, we are gonna use Call of the Gem, which I also just. Look at this. If. And an extra 3 damage if PB is nearby with the Gem of the Gemstone. I need to remember this with Ultra Buff. Remind me next time, because apparently this is actually really good, because I actually have Gem of the Gemstone. And, well, it's in Warrior PB now, but I can easily give it to Princess Bubblegum. That's a really big deal. So, don't remember that next time, but it does just add a laser attack. I would have gone with missile, but that does a lot of damage. I think this one does less damage. I hope it pops like this. If it doesn't, and the 4D sword doesn't one shot, then we might have least out, but hopefully not. Anyways, well, let's get into this, continuing off the tournament. Um, so if I believe, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure no thumb lost on around 45. And the Night Sword lost around 55. Both actually lost due to Pierce, which is a little odd to me. Maybe I should consider switching my my builds from more damage and attack speed focus to Pierce. Pierce is never really that big of an issue. It can usually be solved with, you know, damage and attack speed, but it was a bit of an issue last time, so hopefully it will not be this time. But it definitely could be. So we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. I know I'm really excited some fun stuff because you know what that's honestly i kind of like christmas eve more it's like it's just a nice time because christmas day it's exciting yeah it's still fun but i don't know christmas eve is just so much like there's obviously there's a lot to look forward to but we're also just so excited for christmas so in the mood you're watching holiday movies listening to holiday music maybe eating a fancy meal i don't know i mean i guess you do that on christmas for some people too but, oh, some people don't do it on Christmas Eve, do do it on Christmas, I don't know. Different people have different traditions, but Christmas Eve's always a little nicer to me. But I don't know. I always, I don't know. It's nice to know different people's traditions and specialties, because you know what? Different people do different things, and often they're pretty fun. <laughs> I don't know. But regardless, I hope you guys are having a good day doing something exciting, nice and exciting, I guess. Um, in case it isn't a little obvious, I probably won't. I'm not going to be uploading tomorrow because, well, it's Christmas. I'm going to take the day off. I hope you understand. I'm pretty sure that makes fairly common sense to most of you, but I thought I would let you know in advance. So I really do hope this laser attack pops leads. Truthfully, once again, for like the third of the five, I think it's five epic swords, Pretty sure 40 sword might actually be able to pop leads, because I'm pretty sure it's 5% chance to one shot ability. Yeah, as you see there. It does work on normal balloons too. So do we actually need lead pop power? Maybe not, but I mean it's good to know because if the laser does pop leads, then we can use that for the other ones. If it doesn't, then we have to find something else. So it's still just a fairly good idea to make sure we know about this. But yeah. Regardless, pretty nice, going pretty well. Um, what have I been doing? I haven't up to all that much. As you can probably tell, this is another earlier upload, and in part it's because I want to get this video over with for today, truthfully, so I can spend time 
relax a bit in the afternoon and night because you know what? Christmas Eve, I want to do some fun stuff. Just like I'm sure I will Christmas Day and hopefully all of you will too. Because you know what? That's just a little holiday. It's a nice thing to do. So I am a little curious, honestly. I mean, I have no idea. Finn Sword is a little unexpected. It could be really good. It could be more like size ability, which is really strong. It could be weaker. It could be pretty bad. Almost more like Tsumaki Fan Club ability. I have no idea. Um, but if it is really good, then Finn Sword could definitely win this. Double it. If it like gets close to doubling his DPS or whatever, that could be a big deal, obviously. But if not, I feel like either Knight Sword or Finn Sword are going to take this. Because I really... I know Thun and Amazingly Epic Sword, they're not bad, but there's just nothing special about them, and I don't think they're going to be as powerful because of it. Because with these swords, I really do think what sets them almost a bit apart from the other weapon classes is their special traits that really make them better. Like, that's the main reason for these swords. It's like, one, it's one-shotting DTs, UMGs, all that stuff, and it's really good. Plus, it slows them down even if it doesn't one-shot them, like, it's a big deal. So, I don't know. Leads. Laser does not pop them but does this, this sword sort of looks like it does so whatever i guess we're gonna replace laser with something else to try to deal with lead balloons um I, i'm not i'm not sure I, I guess it's his one shot that's working on them no it seems like I'm, is the laser popping them it's a little hard to tell to be honest because the laser doesn't seem perfectly accurate but I'm pretty sure it's his one shot that's doing it. Yeah. So we have to leave. We actually have to find something that gives Let Pop Owl. Which is a bit unfortunate because I don't know what we're going to give him, honestly. We don't have all that many options. Because I, I know I could go missile, but it's really strong and I really don't want to because that would be a little too broken, I feel. But what else, really? What other options do I really have? I mean, I could go for something weird. Maybe this deals with them, but like, I don't know. I really wish there was something that just straight up gave Let Pop Power, that would be pretty nice. But unfortunately, that's only for ranged attack, so we sort of have to go for a different kind of attack. But I'm not exactly sure what kind of attack exactly we need. Which does not help very much, so I have no idea what we're gonna do. Um... What do you think we should go for? <laughs> I honestly have no idea. Maybe you guys know. Maybe you guys know some magic item that does a really good job of dealing with this, but I have no idea. Okay, let's try this legs. Um, I can't think of a reason why they would pop purple balloons, or why they would pop lead balloons, but it does say in their description that they can pop all balloon types, so... Is that true, or does it just mean, like, some random thing to be like, Hey, we're really powerful, we promise. I have no idea. Um, hopefully it pops leads. We're gonna find out on round 20-something, and if not... Then we try again with something else and potentially eventually resort to the missile. I really don't want to go for it because it does 50 damage per shot to mobs. It's really strong and that would make these results a little unfair. So I'm going for something weaker that hopefully pops up. Man, I really wish you could just put... Ro Why is Robo Monkey Visor only for range? I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but... Could you really just add, add a melee variant? Make like... I don't know. Robo Monkey Hilt, I don't know, something like that. Because they were melee attacks too, and they need lead pop power. That's why I really need to, that's why I wish I had Tuxedo Jake. He just gives all balloon pop power types. It would be very, very nice just to use. I could just like unequip Trinket Thought, use him, and then boom, that's fail. But no, no, unfortunately, we cannot do that. Now we have to wait to see if it does lead pop power, and if it doesn't, then we just have to rest out again. And again, and again. That's not very good. But what are you gonna do? You have to do with what you can. As you can probably tell, they're actually very close to level 7 Finn, so that's gonna be nice. Could be good, because at this rate, we're probably gonna have level 7. I think I'm gonna wait for level 7 no matter what. But to be honest, we'll probably get it like today or tomorrow to do ultra boosted or ultra buff for him. Because yeah, we're basically there. I mean, we could do it now, but level 7 is nice, so I tend to go for level 7 anyways. Um, it's a redo, technically, but I messed up so badly the first time, it's really just, it's really just the new Ultra buff. Um, and then, you know, we're getting closer to C4 Charlie, who I'm sort of excited for. And I'm putting it off, I really do want to do it, but I'm very much so putting off redoing the hardest map ever, because I'm nervous, honestly, I'm nervous. I've gone, like, 
The thing is, I have such better trinkets, so much better gear, and so much higher level heroes now, that I really should be able to do it no problem, but... I don't know, because it's been a while. It's been like two months, I want to say, till it, since I last did that. And it's not like we're super far away. We didn't pop. We died to the Babloon, which was we knew was gonna happen, sort of, if we gonna die to anything. And we didn't do horrible. We did decent damage to it, and that was like there were so many things we didn't have access to. We didn't have Forty Sword. We didn't have Baker Shard. Like we didn't have Baker Shard. I'm not even sure if we had Demon Heart. All these really good damage. And support things. We didn't have the Gugu meter. We didn't have Psy level seven. Like Psy level seven is huge. I, I, we didn't use Psy whatsoever, so we didn't have his um, Balloon sabotage either, which could have helped. Um, or I have no idea. I don't think it works, but if it, his like marked for death or whatever works on the bad balloon, that's incredible. Double damage to the bad balloon. That's a really, really big deal. I don't know. And then I guess C4 Charlie now I'm sort of waiting for because his level of 7 will be another really good damage to more ability. Plus him on his own, more more upgrade is really good damage to more abs. Like, so, plus I have like 4 engineers blueprints. I really should be able to do this. I have, I have most of the really good trinkets. I just don't have enough of them for everyone. Which is really would be my goal in the long run. I mean, obviously I'm far into the late game for this game at this point, doing random challenges and stuff. It does have lead pop out. No, does it? Oh, so difficult to tell with the stupid 40 sword one shotting. I mean, maybe his ability does at the very least. Lead pop power. All the lead balloons dying from the blades. I, I, I think so. 40 sword, you make this really, really difficult to tell. Yeah, that's totally popping the lead balloons. Okay, I think we're good. I believe we are good. I believe blades walk, and you know what, they don't really, they kind of suck damage wise. That's not true. They're not horrible, but as you can saw there, I think they did 2 damage by the time it had looped around, which adds up to like 8 damage per balloon, which is a lot, but mm, it's not enough to be that big of a deal. In fact, actually it just looks like 1 damage, so yeah. Not big enough of a deal compared to his actual sword damage, so you know. This should be a pretty fair test. 40 sword predictions. Um. This is going to be much more luck based, um, honestly. The only thing that I could see us really dying to is a big rush of ceramics, so I could do totally see us dying on round 55. Same as Night Sword. Overwhelm Pierce in particular, because he's he's not going to be one of the towers or one of the swords. He's not going to be dying to ZMGs, and he's not going to be, probably won't be dying to like DETs or something like that. Obviously, he died of bad room, but we're not making it there anyways. He's going to die from lack of Pierce. Like the other one so far. Okay, so round 45. I'm a little nervous because this is the round that Nothan died to, and I could totally see. Yeah. So I think it's disappointing, honestly. Round 45, that kind of sucks. Anyways, on to the next sword. I think we're gonna save Finn's sword for last and do the amazing the epic sword now. Sorry about the dog barking. Um. <laughs> So, amazingly epic sword, it has an ability, so it's going to be a little more effort, I suppose, but, uh, yeah, anyway, so it attacks pretty quickly, normally, but its ability will give it lots of damage with slow attack speed. Honestly, I don't really see its ability being useful unless we are up against, like, a ZMG. And, uh, well, none of the swords have made it to ZMG yet, but I could see him definitely being, dealing a lot better with the whole Pierce issue, because he attacks so fast, round 45, he might live. Around 55, maybe? I don't know. So I think we're gonna get these early upgrades. I'm probably, honestly, just gonna see you at, like, round 30 or 35. When things start to get a little interesting, because if they die before then, honestly, then I probably mess up in some way. That's really the only reason they would die before round 30. Because, honestly, just playing Finn with Alnasaur could probably make it to round 30 with this current build. Yeah, this guy's actually... I'm wondering if I may have, like... Thought he was worse than he would be. I forgot the word for that. Cause he's actually doing really well, ignoring the leads, which I'm gonna give him. No ones we made it like done a loop, which is really impressive. Cause his speed is definitely a big advantage here. So I think he's gonna. Oh, so I just realized I didn't actually use the ability last time. I will tell you the truth, it would not have made a difference. He died to the first Morab. There were four. So pretty sure you wouldn't have won even with it, but. 
it's not the end of the world. If he did, it probably won't make that big of a difference since I doubt he would have made 10 rounds portal. But still, I did realize that mistake. I don't think it'll change the results though, because the wall it was a longer round than that, and the ability or if you see it's not horrible, but it's main benefit for the stunning mobs, which would be good for the Moabs, but obviously it died to the Pierce, it did not die to the Moabs themselves. So, you know. Yeah, he's like he's doing well against ceramics and stuff too. It's stun from the or whatever it's called. Right in the gloves, I think. I could definitely see this guy actually doing a lot better than I thought. Maybe he'll make it to 55. And if this guy's the win, I'm gonna feel really dumb. I will. I, I do have to admit that, though. Because, like, I had no faith in him. I was like, oh yeah, this will be the worst sword out of all of them. Even though Fung's better than this one. But no, it, it seems like this guy's actually gonna do a lot better. Though, I don't know, he didn't do too well against that Moab. Maybe 45 will also be his death, like, you know, most of the others. Well, not most, but two of them so far. That's that's a lot. Okay, I'm using the sharp sword. Is, is it worth it? Maybe. Yeah, no, he died 45 too. Wow. 45 is a big death round. Even with the ability usages, I don't think it would have changed much. That was my point, though. There were so many mobs. It might have helped him beat one, but it wouldn't have helped him beat the others. Anyways, and with that, we're on to Finn's sword already. Wow. So this is the one I kind of want to spend the most time on, kind of like the knight sword, because it's the one that's going to be the most interesting. I have not used it yet. You saw me get it live last time. I haven't used it since. I didn't use it off camera or anything. So I haven't seen this one in action yet, so I'm pretty interested. Um, I don't think it has a lead pop arrow. If it does, so like no thing specifically says it does. Knight sword, I sort of get it. And 40 sword obviously can just instant destroy them, but that wasn't really good enough. So, I'm gonna assume it doesn't have lead pop arrow. I can tell you one thing. That was a very long ability for the fin clone, but that looks super cool, that icon. It's like, it's like a yellow or like white fin, like it, what do you think of like a weird like gross clone or like in a cloning tube or whatever inside the sword? There's like rays of white or whatever around it. I don't know, it's probably a little unclear for you guys right now, but it'll become... Well, even to me, I don't really know exactly how it'll look. It'll be much clearer when the ability's up. But I do notice that is a very, very long ability cooldown. So, there's a few possibilities with that. Poss also, I really like how the sword looks. I will admit that. Possibility number one. Possibility number one is that the clone lasts for a long, long, long time. And that could be really good. Possibility number two is that, well... It's just not up for very long, in which case, that would kind of suck. So, I don't know, if it's... The long ability cooldown is not striking is a very good sign to me, but it could be really, really overpowered. I don't know. And maybe it's just a long ability cooldown when you're first place, because maybe it's really OP. So yeah, I really like how that looks with, like, the blue energy. Let's use it. Oh! You get to... It even- yeah, so it has his blades and stuff. You get to place the clone. That's really cool. That's a lot better than size already, with just that quality. How long does it last? I'm not having very high hopes for how long it'll last. Well, let's see. Well, yes, at least, like, third. Oh, it's not great on ability up time. Though, to be honest, with ultra buff, I could definitely see the fins were being the best. Because an important thing to keep in mind for this guy is... I didn't really mention this too much for Amazingly Epic Sword because his ability's not very good. But th with this guy, we can have half ability cooldowns, if not longer, with like, um, what is it? With Jake's Become by My Sliver. So it'll be up for, so it'll really probably be up for roughly half the time, which is a lot better than you may have thought. That's a really good ability though, that can make a big difference. In case you're a little curious, part of the reason I'm doing this is for when I do Fin Ultra Buff. I don't know what sword to use, honestly. So I think so far, the one I started with No Thung was the first one I actually did when I did my first Ultra Buff. Out of the question, we're not doing that one. Same thing with Amazingly Epic Sword. 40 Swords maybe, because of its ability could be really good. Knight, same thing with Knight Sword. Yeah. I feel like when I actually do do Ultra Buff, I might have to do... For Swallow? Well, this will sort of tell us, because to be fair, this actually is a Swallow, so we can sort of just take the highest one of those as Finn Swallow. 
So I guess this also counts as spin solo, whichever one wins. Which I'm starting to wonder if it's gonna be this guy. I really shouldn't be using this ability, like, random. Really, we should save it for around 45 and 55 with Mega Bear. Because I could definitely see that ability being what saves us. I really wish that was how size ability worked, that you could just place it wherever you wanted to. I guess they thought it was more necessary with this guy because he's melee, but to be fair, size range. Look at it. It's not much bigger than Finn, so... I don't know. It doesn't really make sense to me. At first, I sort of figured that wasn't a possible, like, implementation, but clearly it is. Unless this is, like, a really new change, and now all of a sudden you can do that same thing with size. I doubt it, but it's possible. I don't really know. But I have no idea. I guess they just can't. Maybe they wanted, since it's a weapon ability, for it to be better? I don't know. Finn Sword, very cool so far, though. I definitely really like it. It's a cool clone. But we sort of have to wait and see still to see which one will end up on top. But I'm definitely having good feelings about this one. But yeah, so far Night Sword sort of crushing with the 10 round lead. The big deal. But with 40 Sword, or not with 40 Sword, with Finn Sword, I could see us lasting as long if not longer. Which could be very impressive. To be fair though, the issue with 45 and 55, although rounds are quite long, I just realized I didn't buy this. Um, the round. That was weird, I couldn't buy it for a little while. The rounds are really long. So it could actually be pretty... It could not have the ability up for very long. That could be a downfall still. But I'm definitely saving it for around 45. Because, I mean, not that there were all rounds, but no round really... I don't remember being all that difficult until 45. And then from 45 to 55, that would be fair, the only time that actually made there was a Night Swarm, that was a while ago. I don't really remember any of them being that powerful, but I don't really know. That was a while ago now. The wait and see. Okay, so that was one thing I was curious about, is that the ability isn't actually... Yeah. Okay, so the ability isn't actually, like... I was curious if the cooldown started to be set a second we pressed it, but it's, no, it's not until we placed it, which makes sense. Okay, on to round well, 44, but I'm pretty sure we're getting very close to 45. We're into place. I'm thinking... Now. If we use this ability... Okay, no, I was curious. To both use them, that would be super cool. Probably a bit OP, but super cool. Cockwalk by the leads. Oh, I feel like we could have been that. But honestly, no, I'm going to take it to 45, because even if we could, we definitely weren't going to make it much further than that. So, wow. This is actually very unexpected. A little anticlimactic, truthfully. If we look at all of our list of swords now, we've got all the swords. Knight Sword, round 55, our clear winner. It did really good. Very surprising, very secretive. I really do want to learn more about that. Amazingly Epic Sword, 45. Finn Sword, 45. 40 Sword, 45. No Thunk, 45. It's a four way tie for second place. What are the odds of that, honestly? I mean, I guess. I guess the one thing I can say is they did a pretty good job balancing all their weapons, but like. Oh, unimaginably amazing sword. Okay, that's that up, I guess. But yeah, like. I guess clearly they did a good job with all of their weapons. That's the only real thing I can think of. So yeah, Finn Sword is far superior to this, I believe, because I'm just looking at it. It actually has Finn Sword has a higher speed buff, and the ability is way better. So Finn Sword, I mean, unimaginably epic sword. You're not that good in comparison, but still, I find that really surprising. Um, but yeah, so round 55. That's our also our Finn Solo. Please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe and join the Purple Elfin Squad. It makes my day. It's super nice, and I really do appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Wonderful Christmas Eve. Thank you so much for 156 subscribers. It's a big deal. It's really awesome. And you know what? Honestly, there's still still seven days left in the summer. At this rate, I might even make it much farther than that. Um. Anyways, but yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Seven days is a long time, and you guys have been crushing it. I think it only took you like seven days to go from 100 to 150, so we'll see. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Have an incredible day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!